Hi. I am an idiot. Right, there's Spanish farmers, and they've got no water, so they're using salt water to irrigate their pro crops, which they grow in, but because it's over-salted, they're dying. Right? So the whole crop's ruined, and the farmers complain that he's going out of business. So you've got salt water, you've got no fresh water. And the salt water's not good enough for the uh, fruits and the vegetables, because it's killing them. But, some things are better than other things. And we all know that reeds are quite um, sturdy, and we're not going to eat them anyway. So if they grow crap, and die, who cares? Just keep on planting new reeds. So what you do is you pump your salt water up into a little mini lake, which they're doing anyway. That's what they pump it up and just put it on the plants. So you pump it up, why you pump it up anyway? But you take half, three quarters of your field and you put reeds on it. And you let the water come through the reeds and you collect it, you don't let it go into the ground, right? You put some plastic underneath the ground and put stuff back on so you can get the water and then it will not go into the next field because the reeds took all the salt out of it now, mate. And now you've got fresh water, fresh pure water going straight on. Less salty water going into your fruits, which means your fruits are more productive before the irrigation, before the um, desalination plants come online. Now I've got to be silent for a couple of minutes while I'm waiting for this video to go on, but that's the idea and it works if you can't wait for the Spanish government to build your desalination plants because they were stupid, backward-minded crapheads just like my government. Oh, right, let's wait till it's almost too late and then panic and build in a frenzy and get it wrong! Assholes! But like, I'm thick and uh, uh, I didn't tell them ten years ago. I didn't write a letter to the Spanish government ten years ago saying, well, you know, desalination plants work, mate. But that's back in 1994, actually. So that's much 14 years ago I told the Spanish government to build desalination plants. And they've waited until the fucking rivers and fucking everything's dried up. Until we're panicking now and building them this year, but we're not. We don't. We don't know if we're going. We don't know if we're going to build it in time. Barcelona's run out of water. We're having to ship water in from other places. If you'd have built your desalination plants in 1994 or 97 when I told you to, I sent you a fucking letter, you stupid Spanish government. If you'd have built the fucking things then, and you're building them now, so they do desalination de la gat. Whatever de la gat means. Probably a town. If you built it in '94, it'd be working now, and you want to run out of water last year, Barcelona, you clever fucking twat! Thick! Well, I've got to let this video run for until 10 minutes now, because I can't cut it off now, or you're going to miss me going thick! <laughs> They're building a 2.2 kilometre pipeline in from the Mediterranean. It's coming in and they're going to put it into a desalination plant and then the desalination plant's going to make the salt water into fresh water and they're going to pump it into the city and let people drink it. I told them to do it in 1994. And you know what, they've got that much sun in um, Spain, they can use solar energy to do most of this. So it's pretty much free. Well, if you build it correctly, well, what, they're going to use coal-fired power stations and gas-fired power stations to do it because they're fucking loopy. They need to be putting next to it a solar-powered station, one of those solar furnaces where they put it onto a, it's got a solar furnace and they fucking put it all into one place and they boil water, yeah, and they get steam turbines off that. These solar furnaces there, they, they work pretty well in Spain. They're, they're brilliant in Spain and solar panels on top of the building. It's not only a solar f furnace, in fact they could put the solar furnace on top of the desalination plant to just keep it all in one space, you know, and, and take less space up. Uh, but, you know, I'm thick and they're obviously clever. In 1994, oh, uh, what's this dreamer talking about? Desalination plants, global warming's like a bollocks, we'll be fine, look, the rivers are okay, there's nothing wrong with them. We're clever. We're Spanish condestadores. Condestigores? Condestadores. Prolestadores. Condestadores. Prolestadores. Molester. Molestadores. Molester. 
Madeline doors, Molesta Madelines, Molesta Madeline doors, Molesta Madeline doors, the Conquesta Molesta Madeline doors, the Molesta Madeline Molesta doors, the Molesta Madeline Molesters, the Backward, take the piss out of stage 12 years ago and then do what Stems told you to do. Told you, do it. Do it. Do it now. Do it now. I ain't doing that. I ain't doing what Stems says. I'm not doing what Stems says. Stems is stupid. Stems doesn't know what he's talking about. I'm not doing what he says. Oh, we've got to do it now. Oh no, we've got to do what Stems says now. He was right. Damn. Damn. Damn! How can we say face now? How can we say, oh no, let's threaten him. Let's pulverise him and beat him up and beat him up and beat him up for being a clever bastard. Let's beat him up and beat him up and beat him up for being a clever bastard. Let's beat him up and beat him up and beat him up for being a clever bastard. Let's beat him up and beat him up and beat him up for being a clever bastard. Fucking dunce, fucking government official twats. <laughs> oh, what the hell I can say? Well, I was stinging, man. Well, I listen to the scientists, you know, they're, they're clever, these scientists are. And they accumulated their data by listening, reading, and learning. And then, you know, I decided that, you know, it wasn't enough just listening, reading, and writing, so I thought I'd tell the Spanish government what they should do. So, what did I do? Well, you know, who, who do you send it to? I'll just fucking put it on the internet and let them fucking watch it. It's up to them. I guarantee you, everything that I'm saying you should do, and all those videos that I've put on over the last few years, you'll end up doing what I say. You'll end up doing what I say. You know what I say, this one here, this thing that's been touched by its own finger now, this, this thing here, this you see the camera's pointing at this here this this thing here look this 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 thing here it's called Stig Stig it's called not Stig not Stig not Stenge Stig you end up doing what I say I want compensation and lots of it you end up doing what I say I want lots and lots of compensation so I can do more and do it quicker. I need to do lots more for the planet and I need to do it quicker because you've got a load of fucking idiots out there that just want to make money. You look at these Spanish idiots on golf courses. I'm watching the news now and there's a bunch of idiots on Spanish. I've got the BBC reporter and she knows there are a bunch of idiots on golf courses. She's not as good as me neither, but at least she's reporting it. She's got the chance to go out and report it. At least she's there reporting it. But she's only doing what I've told her to do. She sits there and listens to me telepathically and goes out and does what I tell her to do. And this is England, mate. We're the best country on the planet. There's no doubt about it. We know what we're talking about. We're better than the Yanks. We're better than the Aussies. We're the best on the planet. And the Spanish need to do what I told them to do 14 years ago. They need to do it then. It's too late just to do one desalination plan now. They needed loads of them. And Africa needs them as well. We need to put them in Africa now. Seriously. Around the coast. One every 20 miles, 40 miles, something like that. You know what I mean? And start doing it now. It's probably going to take 150 years to build that many, is it? No, nope. if we start now, it's the sooner the better. The Africans are running out of water. We don't want them all in England because we haven't got enough freaking room in England. We can't take them all. We don't want to let them all die. We want to expand and get off the planet. But we need to get our planet so it's sustainable. 
we need to be able to make everywhere good and we like the sunny places and if it's desert we can't go there because it's desert desalination planets and all the horrible places